Joining us now is uh, Alamogordo Tiger Swim. They're getting ready for the season this Saturday. They uh, go out to Hobbs, and we're joined by uh, new coach uh, Tiffany Miller. Coach, how are you? I'm good. How are you? Fantastic. Happy to have you here. You want to introduce this four that you brought with you t- uh, today? Yes. So uh, today I have my three team captains and one of our up-and-coming strong boy swimmers. It's uh, Kieran, Alessio, Cass, and Ariel. Right. How's everybody doing today? Good? Good. Yeah. yeah. Good. All yeah. right. That's what we liked here. Uh, coach, I mean, heading into a new season, taking those program first of all uh you know how did, how did you get uh, brought into the the, the swim program and uh, and taken over for coach moon um so i've always tried to um even throughout my career and everything tried to maintain some footing in swimming um we've lived around the country and i've worked with swim teams around there and uh i just moved back here a couple years ago and i started coaching the local team which is the aqua shocks um and then the high school team was looking for a new coach so here i am you know something i always have to to ask about is you know obviously the practice situation you guys don't have a dedicated facility is it kind of the same situation the swim team's been in the last few years it is yes um we are still working on our agreement with the base but we will hopefully be moving out there soon um the family recreation center has been really awesome and they've stayed open for our practices really makes a difference and apparently it's not too cold yet i was talking to the the swimmers beforehand and it's not too bad kieran you said it's not not too bad swimming in, in the pool yet right yeah no that's not bad yeah so any does, does the cold really bother you that much when you guys have to swim that or is it kind of not a big deal for you no your body warms up after like five minutes alessio how about you i mean you've been obviously swimming at the the rec center in those times uh how's it for you i think it's fine once you start getting tired you just gotta warm up that's it yeah not not too big of a problem yeah sandra how about you it's pretty it's nice it's cold when you get out of course but once you warm up then you really get used to it not a big issue ariel how about you i'd say it's pretty nice this year (laughs) because in the past we've like practiced in snow so i would say we're doing great this year it's very warm Take, take take what you can get, right? Definitely. All right, very good. Well, let's talk a little bit about what uh, what to you know expect coming up this year. Uh, you know, Kieran, what's what's the event that uh, individually that you're going to be focusing on this year that you really want to do well in? Is there one in particular? Not really. I haven't really thought about it, but mm-hmm. maybe 200 IM. Okay. Is there a particular stroke that you're more comfortable in, or do you you know if you like IM, do you kind of like all of them, or? Yeah, except breaststroke. <laughs> I feel like I hear that every time we have swimmers that come in. Why, why, why is breaststroke such a challenge? It's not an easy stroke? No, it's the hardest for most people to get the technique down and get it right. Very good. Alessio, what's uh, what's the main events you're going to be focusing on this year? Uh, 50 and the 100 free, mainly the 50 free. Uh, I was really disappointed by my results last season, so I just really want to come back strong and say, hey, here I am at state this year all right very good uh and it's just you you love that sprint part of it the 50 free i mean that's one length down the pool that's fast yeah yeah i don't have to worry about you know save this energy for later i I just get to go and do whatever i want okay very good do you have a particular stroke that you did is it breaststroke your one that you don't like the most oh no i like breaststroke i i also stay qualified for breaststroke also okay so is, is back is is, uh, is butterfly the one one? That oh, you I did? hate back. I hate back. Okay, hate back. <laughs> that's the one. I know swimmers are very particular. There's one in particular they don't really enjoy. Uh, Cassandra, what's uh, the event uh, that you're hoping to do well in this year? Probably the hundred breast. I've been doing it for a while, and I want to try to stay qualified. I'm close, so I just really want to work on that. If not, then my fifty sprint. Okay, the the, the fifty so, free. All yeah, right. and. Is there one particular that you're you like? Don't put me in that event. A hundred fly, <laughs> definitely not. I don't know. It's not that it's like it's tiring. Okay. I don't mind doing it, but I would prefer to stay away from it. Coach is uh, coach is taking notes. <laughs> she probably already knows these things. I do. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Ariel, what's uh, what are the events you're going to really try to, to hit hard this year? Um, I focus on the 50 free and the 100 free, especially the 50 free, because that's my favorite, definitely. And I want to qualify for state this year. That's the goal, but we'll see if it happens. <laughs> well, hopefully it does. And is there one that you're just like, please don't put me in that event, Coach? Um, Fly, breast, and back. Okay. <laughs> They're all very rough. <laughs> Challenging, for sure. Okay, very good. Those are the ones you focus on. Coach, I mean, uh, some of the other athletes we should be watching out for, we got these four in here. Who are some of the other names that uh, you think could have a chance to, to really compete well this season yeah so we have a great strong team this year um we might have a chance for a pretty big team going to state which is awesome um, we also have a very young team a lot of our swimmers are eighth ninth tenth graders this year with very few uh, Ariel's our only returning senior this year um so a few swimmers that are going to do awesome this year is Hawkins, Sonia, uh, Maria, Maddie, 
I mean, there's there's so many that are just going to do awesome. Okay, I look forward to that. And you said uh, you had pretty good numbers coming out, so a little over 30 that you guys had Yes, involved, a little over 30 right now. Which is a nice nice improvement from the spring, because I know it was kind of tough for the team to get, get people yes, out in the spring. Yes, well, right? uh, Ariel and Alessio have been recruiting a lot of swimmers, so that's awesome. <laughs> all right. Well, Ariel, what's, what's your pitch when you're trying to get people to, to come out and join the swim team, huh? I make them list all their excuses, and then I go one by one <laughs> telling them why it's not a good one. <laughs> and it's worked. We have, like, tripled the team at least. I mean, the boys' team last year was three people, and now we've got, like, what, like 15? So it's yeah. working. Yeah. Alessio, what, what, what's your pitch to, to, the, to the guys and gals when, when you want them to come out to the swim team? I don't know. I just keep telling them. I, I, just, I just don't stop. And eventually, they're like, oh, okay, fine, I'll do it. And that's it. Just sending them texts constantly, <laughs> running into them at lunch, things like that, and that's what's going on? Yeah, something like that. Yeah. Something like that. Okay. <laughs> Very good. Uh, Coach, I mean, that's got to feel, when you've got, you know, swimmers on your team that are actively trying to improve the team, that, that's got to be nice to see from, uh, from this group, right? Yeah, it's great. Um, I mean, passion for their sport and, you know, their school is, is awesome. Yeah. Okay. Karen, I mean, what, what got you into, into swimming? I mean, how many years have you been uh, competitively swimming? I've been swimming for a year and a half, almost two years. My dad, he swam competitively for 15 years awesome. through college. We we moved from New Braunfels, Texas at that rec center. We waited about a year and a half for uh, the head coach to get there. And so I was too young to participate in any other high school uh, sports. Swimming was kind of the only option for me, and I've just stuck with it since we moved here. Is, is it a sport that you've grown to love and you really like to go out there and compete against folks? Yeah, I'm more of a competitive person. You just you just look forward to the events and go out there and enjoy that. Yeah. Uh, Alessio, I mean, you've been swimming for quite a while now. I mean, that, how many years is this for you on the Alamo swim team? Yeah, I've been swimming for five years. This is my sixth year right now. I was pretty bad at it at first, <laughs> like really bad. But, you know, I just it just took some time for me to get to where I am right now. Yeah, all right. And, I mean, what what is it that, you know, had got you into the sport? I mean, was it mom, dad, somebody else that got you started? or? I'm pretty sure my parents just put me into, like, gymnastics or something. I hated it. <laughs> so I just did swimming because okay. I had to do something. There you go. All right. Keep, keep you active in the high school, right? Yep. All right. <laughs> Sandra, how about you? When did you get started swimming? Um... This is actually my third year swimming for the AHS. I started my freshman year. I was going to do it my eighth grade year, but I actually got injured playing a sport, so I was out for like half of the season. Yeah, my friend, I was going to do it, and then my friend was like, you should just come out and try. And I did, and I was like, this sucks. I was <laughs> thinking, I was like, I'm going to quit. I can't do this. But I stayed. If I didn't, I'm pretty sure it would show up at my house. That's true. <laughs> Driving to practice every day. Um, and this year, I wasn't really thinking of doing it. I was probably, I was like, mm, I don't really know. But I came out. I was like, why not? Yeah. You're, you're enjoying it. Yeah, so far. <laughs> That's the most important thing. All right. And Ariel, I mean, I know you've gotten to swim with your sister in previous years, and uh, it's kind of kind of become a family thing for you guys with the HO swim team, right? Yeah, it's been pretty fun. It was really fun to swim my first two years with my sister, and we won some relays, and we managed to stay, and it was a really good time. And then Alessio and I are the only ones left from our first year of swim, so my sister's not here anymore. But, yeah, I've, I've been loving the swim team all four years. It's been really, really fun. And it's been really exciting to see like all the different changes, but I just love the competitiveness and it's really like a personal sport because it's another sport so you can kind of like race against people, but whenever you're in your lane, like you can't really see anyone. Yeah. <laughs> so it's, that's my favorite part. It's just like competing against myself. Gotcha. But I mean, there's also the team aspect as well. I mean, what, what do you like being a part of, you know, this group? I mean, obviously you've got some younger, do you kind of pride maybe trying to help bring along the, the younger teams? I mean, obviously you're out there recruiting, so uh, are you excited to leave the program in a better place than, than when you when you came in? Oh yeah, I'm so excited that so many people ended up trying out. And obviously, Alessi and I have been like forcing people to come, <laughs> but I'm really glad that they have. And my sister, my younger sister actually ended up trying out, so that was really fun to see all the new people and I'm really excited for the team it's going to be really strong next year unfortunately I won't be here to see it but there's a lot of new people so it'll be really nice for them and I'm really really glad that there's just so much show out because the coach will be able to be here you know and it'll be really great because we have a coach which was iffy for a while so it's great that the team will live on because it was really questionable for a while. Are you excited to be in that spot where now you're the older sister and you got your younger sister swimming on the team? Is that going to be fun for you? It's definitely fun. I feel like I feel like that way for a lot of the new people. <laughs> I'm like 
I'm really excited just to watch them grow and push them, and I'm like trying to get them to put in all all of their effort during practice and stuff. Okay, very good, Cassandra. What do you like being a part of this group? I mean, I'm sure the bus rides and all the various things. I mean, what what do you enjoy being a part of this swim um, team? Um, I really like how it feels like like a family, and it's just like fun to be able to hang out with everybody and the competitiveness. Like Ariel said. It's really fun and like seeing everybody new that's tried out and seeing them come out and actually like it. Are you, I mean, are, and are you part of trying to help, you know, bring some of those younger swimmers along? I'm sure coach is probably dependent on, on you as they have some experience, right? <laughs> yeah, I've been helping out a lot and it's really fun. I've been trying to get more people to join, but I've been trying to get this one person. She's like, no, no. And I'm like, <laughs> are you kidding me? So I'll just leave that recruiting to Ariel and Alessio. <laughs> they seem to be doing good at that. But we called her out on the radio now, so maybe, maybe she'll be like, yeah. oh, now I want to be a part of it. Yeah, right? she better. <laughs> She, she better. We won't we won't use any names. So it, she she knows who she is, right? There, yeah, there yeah, is. she should. <laughs> she should. I can throw her name. No, no, no we'll, we'll go ahead. She knows who she is. <laughs> Alessio, I mean, for you, I mean, obviously you've had all this experience starting as, you know, somebody who, as you said, you weren't very good at the beginning. Mm -hmm. What, I mean, do you have that advice to be able to help out those younger ones that, you know, maybe they don't feel like they're that good at the beginning? If you're not that good at the beginning, i say just, just put some, just, just put some time into it and eventually you'll get somewhere because constant effort is like life's greatest shortcut. And yeah, just keep, just keep working is all I'm saying. Okay. Very good. Coach, I mean, you were talking about the opportunity at getting out there and, and maybe seeing some state numbers this year. I mean, do you feel like relays will have a chance to get there this year? Yeah, absolutely. I'm really excited to see our relays. They're really strong this year. So. Okay. And uh, individuals, I mean, you feel like there's a few out there. I mean, I know Alessio, you qualified for state last year, right, Alessio? Yeah, I qualified yeah. for state last year, and I'm yeah, and I plan to and I plan to score way higher than last year. I only got like. 14th or 15th i want to get like top three this year yeah okay what you know what are some of the, the ways to I mean try to improve those times i mean is it just you know getting the experience and meets and, and and the practice part of it to to get there yeah or? swimming is all about practice it's just repetition 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 you know and i change up their workouts so they're working sprints and distance and trying to get both sides of it um but they're just, I mean, they push themselves really hard, and that's really the key to success. So. Okay, very good. Um, and, you know, from what you've seen from this group so far, I mean, I know things are just kind of coming together. It's early in the season, but, you know, what having coached swimming and been around a lot of different teams, you know, what, what do you like about the, this group from what you've seen so far? Um, I, they're just all really, really great kids. Everybody works hard. They're all really kind to each other. Um, They've helped me come along as a first-year coach. You know, I've, I was uneasy in my position at the beginning, but they really, really supported me in all of it, and it's, it's been really great. So. Okay, very good. Uh, so we have one senior here, uh, Ariel. We'll go ahead and ask you, I mean, what, what's coming up after high school for you? Have you started making some plans on that? Or? Well, I just put in my application for college, so that's my plan is to go to Brigham Young University. And after I go there for a year, I'm going to go on a mission for the Church of Jesus Christ of Latter-day Saints. So those are both pretty exciting, coming pretty soon. Okay, very good. And you, you don't know your mission until you get a little bit closer to it, right? Right, where you're going it's, it's kind of like a surprise where you go. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know that's the best way to put it, but it's one way. Yeah. Do you have, I mean, like a wish of a place that you could end up going? I mean, do you want to go internationally? I, I mean, mean, foreign would be cool, but I would be happy to go anywhere that I... Uh, uh, speak a different language, but I mean, obviously, teaching gospel is the most important part of it. So. Okay. Very good, Cassandra. You're junior this year. Yes. Okay. So I'm mean, sure you're you're at least thinking about college and what's coming up next. Have oh, you started yeah. thinking about that? Yeah, I've been thinking of going into the medical field after high school. So I've been taking classes to get into that. Awesome. And I have like ideas of colleges, and I've actually been thinking of studying abroad somewhere but i don't really know if i can learn the new language it really depends what they have to offer for like the medical field what i want to go into that's even if i get into college because uh, kind of iffy kind of iffy oh, i'm sure i'm sure <laughs> you'll be fine <laughs> uh alessio i mean what uh, junior this year right yeah so what, what's what's coming up next for you you started thinking about plans after high school or oh uh, no 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 i haven't thought about anything no okay i've, I've just been focusing on swimming and working out every day. <laughs> All right. So is, is swimming something you'd like to continue after high school, though? Yeah, of course. Uh, I think if I can, that would be great, yeah. Uh, Kieran, uh, so in, or sophomore, junior, where are you in the... Yeah, I'm a sophomore. Sophomore this year. Have you started thinking about you know plans for after high school? or No. No, I'm not yet. I've been focusing on school. <laughs> okay. Do you have an idea of something that you'd like to, like to do as a career? Or? Uh, no. No. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> that's all right is there a particular you know subject that you enjoy more than any other in, in school or uh math is my favorite math is your favorite okay 
Very good. All right. Well, we'll uh, obviously look forward to seeing what you guys can do throughout the season. Uh, two meets in November, right? So the next two yes. weeks. Correct. And then it's it, it kind of bounces around the schedule. You guys got a couple <clears throat> in December, and then January and February it really starts to pick up. For yeah, you, right? January is pretty much every weekend. So. Okay, very good. Well, we look forward to seeing how uh, this year's team does, and uh, we know you guys usually do pretty well at those meets, so hopefully the, the first run out, you guys uh, have some success. Good luck this season. We appreciate you guys coming in. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank, Thank you. Thank you. All right.